When it comes to crypto, I disagree with this heavily, right? So this is my phrase for what's probably most likely to happen here in crypto um, that's opposed to the institutional players, right? So institutional players, right? As Chris Wiegland says, and uh, welcome to the Moon Gang, sir. Uh, he says, sell in May and go away, right? That's the traditional way that the, everybody looks at the market. That's how people look at stocks. Why? Because they're not trading 24 seven, right? They're not trading 365. Um, they uh, take time off and people take time off in the summer, but not crypto degens, right? So um, basically sell in May and go away, sure can cause, um, but we'll look at the price chart here on Bitcoin to finish off the show uh, in terms of some periods of time here uh, during the quarter, that'll be important buy opportunities. I do think you're gonna get some selling in May, which will create uh, some uh, higher lows that we can buy into, right? But then uh, post having, right? I think the latest that we're gonna get a pump in the summer is by July. So by the time we get to July, we're gonna be pumping in the market um, and probably into August, October, maybe into December, which would be great. Um, but yeah, things are, uh, what do you call it? Crypto is more like sell in May and go away and then come back in the middle of the summer and create uh, a DeFi shitcoin pump um, because we're bored. <laughs> so that's what happens in crypto because um, since it's 24-7, 365 market, people get you know uh, bored and, and want to put in on meme coins while they're on vacation uh, as well. And that's the great thing about crypto. You can trade it when you're on vacation. It's fantastic.